For this adventure, I'll be spending the day in Bratislava, Slovakia. And this video is going to focus on the castle, with a walk around the exterior and an exploration of the interior that includes a look at the interesting history of the region. And you're welcome to come along. Let's get started. Now that Siege has had his moment in the spotlight, let's continue on through this impressive stone gate that dates back to the 15th century. You'll find this castle situated on a hilltop of the Little Carpathian Mountains, and this elegant structure overlooks the capital of Slovakia. Now, we just gotta find a way to get in this thing. Finding our way in now brings us through this next structure called the Vienna Gate, which was built in the early 1700s. From up here, you'll have a great view of the Danube River. And standing guard is a statue of a great Moravian ruler that controlled these parts during the second half of the 9th century. As we pass through that main entrance, we find ourselves in a large courtyard, complete with a well. Although the history of this hilltop dates back countless ages ago, the stone castle from the 900s sat in ruins after its destruction in the early 1800s. What you see now is the product of a restoration effort that occurred in the 1950s. Immediately beyond the front door, you'll be treated to examples of the ancient architecture that once stood on these grounds, along with information of the settlement's timeline. We will now wander through the pleasant Baroque interior for just a bit, on our way upward to explore a variety of exhibits. But first, let's stop and take a look at this detailed model of the palace grounds. The elegance of this castle's interior is nearly beyond belief. The red carpet throughout these hallways will have you feeling like royalty. In fact, I actually kind of felt like I shouldn't even be here. Let's move along. The next few rooms act as a museum that will give you insight to the history of not only the building, but also the generations of people who worked to shape and preserve this culture. While browsing about, you may even have the opportunity to read the story behind the double cross. This long hallway displays a treasure trove of dinnerware and fine ceramics that were once used by the royalty that called this very place home. As interesting as all this history is, I think it is time we continue further on up a bit just to get a better view of the surrounding area. That's right, you are now in the tallest structure of the castle known as the Crown Tower. From up here, you can get another look at the Danube River, as well as a full 360 degree view of the entire town. But what is downstairs, you may ask? Every castle has a dungeon, right? They most certainly do. And this one is used to display some of the most ancient artifacts that have been recovered here. Venturing down below not only guarantees you to see parts of the castle's original foundation, but there are lots of other interesting things down here too, like information on the timeline of the settlement's development. This includes the days of the Romans, and back even further than that. Just to prove it, there are plenty of displays of pottery and other artifacts kept down here too. Look closely enough, and you may even notice the occasional eco-fact along the way. What I've been able to show you is only a small portion of the things that you will find in the halls of Bratislava Castle. But now I feel compelled to show you a bit more of the palace grounds. So let's go back outside. Around the perimeter you will find more monuments and statues scattered throughout the greenery. And before leaving, you've got to check out the garden in the back. They say that many of these aesthetic features were actually put into place by Queen Maria Theresa during the mid-1700s. Believe it or not, you can roam these royal grounds completely free of charge. It was only the inside that required a ticket, and I do recommend seeing this thing inside and out. 
yes, Bratislava Castle has definitely proven to be an amazing adventure. I explored the interior, learned of the interesting history, had some great views, and saw a number of extraordinary sights while roaming freely throughout the grounds of this elegant palace. But don't worry, this adventure isn't over yet. In an upcoming video, I'll be showing you the rest of the town. So be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned.